hey guys this video is going to be a little bit different um first of all welcome or welcome back my name is felita and this is budgeting with mealings um this video if you saw the thumbnail you're probably here because you want to know what it is that i'm quitting and i promise you i'll get into that in just a moment um but this video is going to be a little bit different because my audio was, I don't know what happened with my audio, I guess because I hadn't recorded a video in so long, I forgot what I was doing. But anyway, here I'm just basically telling you that um, my tray is full of money, so I will be doing some stuffing today. But before I get into that actual stuffing, I wanted to let you guys know what it was that I was quitting and what I'm quitting is some of these challenges I feel like my challenges have become more of a burden to me um, and they're not they they weren't fun and that's what this community and saving is supposed to be about and so far it has well I'm not gonna say so far for the first eight months or so that's what it was and then it got to be more of a burden so here you see um, I am introducing my savings challenge booklet and I'm just letting you know which challenges I'm actually going to continue and which challenges I will be quitting or stopping or pausing or whatever. So here I'm basically just explaining to you that for the past, I don't know, a couple of months, um, it's just been really difficult for me to keep up with uh, like the different challenges um, now that my children my daughters they're out of the house I have to you know call or text them and you know for the money and then my husband him being away you know just having to remind them and sometimes I forget we just have so many different things going on I just forget and that's basically what I'm saying here is that um, the amount of money that we actually had in the envelope compared to the amount of actual um, color me money uh, squares that we had colored in was different so what I was trying to do was get all of this caught up this is one of the challenges that we do plan or that I do plan to continue so this next clip you'll see me actually um, getting that situated so the difference in the amount that we had in the envelope and the amount that was um, actual, actually colored in was about $260. So that's what you'll see me coloring in here, but I'll speed this along. Okay guys, so this is my first time ever doing a voiceover. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it. I'm actually enjoying the recording part of it. Um, it's kind of funny to go back and look at yourself when we only do the hand motions and things like that to try to remember what did I say and all that good stuff. Anyway, if you like the video, continue to watch and give this video a big thumbs up. So next up you see is our Christmas challenge and basically what I'm doing is explaining to you that last well actually this pay period which is the November 4th budget um, I'm actually stuffing for that particular pay period I'm also stuffing for our October 21st pay period as well as our October 7th so Christmas is actually getting a total I think it was three hundred and sixty dollars which is the 120 a month I'm sorry 120 a per bi-weekly pay period um, and, and this is where I kind of went into detail about how, you know, I had just gotten so behind. You know, I was still taking the money out and still saving the money, but I just had not had a, t had a chance to record. And I was just getting behind on certain things. Um, I even went into detail about, you know, some of the things that, um, like, for instance, my son, we ended his... Um, football and baseball season but then we went right into kickboxing and basketball and it's just been a lot for me to take on um and I thought this adjustment would be a little bit easier but it hasn't but we're managing and that's why I'm just making some adjustments 
So next up you'll see is vacation and again with vacation we're stuffing for three bi-weekly pay periods which means that we'll be putting in a total of $300. If my memory serves me correctly, um, vacation will uh, end up having a total of $900. Um, let's see, I do think that's correct, but anyway. Uh, vacation is another challenge that we will be continuing okay so in this clip I'm showing you my candles um, I'm just letting you know that that's another thing that's been taking up a lot of my time just trying to um, finally get the ball rolling for um, my candle company which is seasons redefined I'm actually having to um, meet with my CPA and meet with the attorney um, because I'm making some changes I want to make sure that everything is legally covered um, but I also went into detail just letting you guys know that with my candle line, it is a custom candle scent, which means that I actually custom blend all of my fragrances. Um, the initial launch will be for um, my everyday collection. So I'm not sure if I am going to um, bring in my seasonal scents. I, although I do have them formulated, I just don't know if I am up to trying to make them. But I went into detail about that as well. And also just itemizing or letting you guys know that I have um, three candle scents. I have the one that I'm pointing at now, which is a 16 ounce jar. I have an eight ounce jar. And then I also have my wax melts. Um, I also have a three ounce or a four ounce candle tin, a black candle tin, which is not listed here, but I'm sure you'll see it in one of the upcoming videos. Um, so I actually have three different candle sizes. But anyway, I just kind of went into detail about that and just how time consuming that has been have been for me um, in addition to doing everything else and I know I don't want to make it sound like oh woe is me and my life is so much you know more difficult than the next person because I do know that there are plenty of moms and dads out there that are doing the exact same thing and I applaud you I know you do it on a daily basis it, um, ju it's just been a little bit more difficult for me this time uh, or this go around for us our family my family um, um, with my husband being um, away. Anyway, this next clip, you'll see um, me going into detail about the next challenge, which is uh, the um, shoelace game, which is by Budgeting April. I'm sure you guys know who Budgeting April is. And this week, we, my husband and I picked, well, actually my son chose the numbers for us. Um, he chose the eight times two, which is the 16. And then I got the seven times three, which is the 21. So that's the amount that I will be putting in. And this is another challenge that I will be keeping because my husband and I are so competitive about every single thing with this particular challenge um, the way that it works my son picks the numbers and the two numbers that he are the two cards that he choose for the week are the two multiplication facts that he's responsible for learning um, so it's really funny and I'll show you guys a clip at the very end of the video um, but anyway, that's what the um, multiplication cards are for. Um, it's just kind of a fun way for us to decide how much money we're going to put in and um, another way for my son to actually learn his multiplication facts. Um, and also, this is another one that I always I, I'm just so um, because we're all so separated now, you know, my husband been away, the, my two older girls moving out. When I talk to them, I'm actually talking to them about their day and what they did and what I did and just trying to catch up on our daily lives that I sometimes forget to say, hey, um, you know, what about the challenge? Um, so that this is another one that I always forget to until it's like I'm sitting down to record and I'm like, oh, I didn't ask him for the, you know, the $16. Um, and I guess I could just go ahead and put the, you know, the money in, but that's not being authentic. And that's what I want this to be my true journey of our debt payoff and my true journey of us becoming debt free together as a family and, and how we're planning to do it. But anyway, um, that is, um, you know, what was going on in this particular clip. 
Um, so I was trying to get that caught up. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, I am in the lead. So let that be noted that I'm winning. So this uh, particular clip or next up, what I was discussing was the 100 envelope challenge. And I was just explaining uh, uh, to you guys how it had become such a, almost like a bill, like that bill that you know you have to pay, but you don't want to pay. And it's like, oh, I got to pay these people. And that's what the 100 envelope challenge became for me. Number one, when I initially started my budgeting journey and I chose this particular challenge, I chose it because of the amount of money that I could save over a year. Well, when I did my calculations, I calculated it incorrectly. I was only picking two numbers because I got paid bi-weekly. And in order for me to have finished this challenge in a year's time, I probably should have been stuffing three to four numbers bi-weekly. So it was probably last week when I went to even look at the numbers and I started looking at my actual sheet. And I'm like, I got a lot of numbers left and it's almost the end of the year. There's no way I'm going to be able to finish this at the end of the year. And that is just kind of where things started to kind of come together for me. And I was like, I, I need to do something different. And the something different is going to be moving forward. I'm quitting this challenge. As much as it pains me to say that, I am. I'm quitting. I'm going to take the money um, from this particular challenge and I'm going to put it towards debt. Um, if you guys remember, uh, at the beginning of the year, I did my goals challenge or my goals video about what I wanted to accomplish this year. And my uh, what I want to accomplish has not changed. I want to pay out my credit card. Uh, well, I'm sorry, my credit cards are already paid out. I want to pay out my car, and I also want to continue to help my daughter um, with her school. So that's where that money will go. I'm not sure how much money is going to be in the envelope or in the box, um, but we will find that at the, at the end of the video. This next challenge is actually the nickel challenge. And with the nickel challenge, that is another one that, you know, it, instead of it, which it is fun. It's fun to see the money pile, you know, to build, you know, from week to week or bi-weekly to bi-weekly. But I actually, between my nickel challenge and my 100 envelope challenge, I was putting in about $400 um bi-weekly and that i'm sorry yeah not bi-weekly monthly and that's a lot of money so i'm thinking okay i could just be putting 200 dollars towards my car or 400 dollars towards my car or split it up and put some towards my my daughter's tuition and or books or whatever it is that she's needing her her um rent at her apartment or her groceries or just whatever you know things you know are constantly coming up and Anyway, saying all that to say, um, this is a challenge that we or I have chosen to do away with. Um, I am going to take the money out and again, it'll be applied to debt or something. And I'll let you guys know, you know, exactly what this particular clip or moving on to the next challenge, which is the payday challenge. I didn't in this challenge what i ended up doing was um paying it out so this challenge would have given me one thousand forty dollars so i needed an uh two hundred dollars to complete this challenge so that's what i did i budgeted for two hundred dollars and i am done with the payday challenge and actually when i counted the money up it ended up being a little bit more i want to say it was about eleven hundred or twelve hundred dollars because i do remember putting in a little bit more um a couple of times um but it wasn't a lot more maybe um like eleven hundred no more than twelve hundred dollars um but this is one that you won't see anymore because we're done with it i paid um it out. I completed it. Yay. I'm really excited about that. P 
Pantry Challenge, I did actually complete that one actually two weeks ago. I used my summer challenge that I completed October 7th and I put that money into this particular challenge because we were actually going to, I think Sam's or Costco or something and I didn't want to either put you know, whatever we purchased on a credit card or, you know, spend money that I didn't really have budgeted for that particular trip. So that's what I decided to do. Just take the money that was already in the um, pantry challenge and put it with the summer challenge. Plus, I think about another $40 from our household envelope and that actually completed the pantry challenge. So that's another one that you will not be seeing anymore. We quit it. Um, but you know, we're done with it. The next, um, challenge up was rainy day and with rainy day, um, I do plan to complete this challenge because we all have rainy days. We've had several rainy days over the course of the last few months. So I do think that this challenge is uh, detrimental um, for me and my family. And actually this um, is from um, 40 plus life, 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 uh, Veronica over at 40 plus um, life. So. Anyway, um, if you guys have not checked her out, go check her out. Um, she has some really, really nice, fun uh, challenges. So next up is cheer. You probably can't tell, but I'm a little flustered at this point because I'm like, what am I putting here? How much or whatever? But anyway, um, with cheer challenge, we are keeping it because of course my daughter's still in cheer. So apparently my camera stopped recording, but what you see here is just um, all of the cash that I've taken out, <clears throat> excuse me, of the um, envelopes or challenges that we uh, stopped or that I stopped. And that was the 100 envelope, the payday and the nickel challenge, if my memory serves me correctly. And here I am going to start counting the cash and I will speed this along for you guys. This is about the time that I finish counting my ones and I realize that I have two additional boxes of ones that I've been saving for this whole year. Um, and I apologize, um, I am out of frame, but this setup is still new to me and I am trying to get used to it. And here, um, I think I am putting the ones in stacks of 50, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, but I will fast forward through this part well, as well. I hope that you guys you. enjoyed um, this video. I know it's a bit different. The hand motions didn't quite go with what I was actually saying during the video. Um, right here, I am counting the last of the money and it came out to be about $6,500, which is great. Um, and as I stated before, we'll just be using that money to put towards debt to pay things out. And that's only the money that you see is only the cash money. I didn't use any of the placeholders or calculate any of that into this particular total. Um, you probably will notice in another frame or so that my son is actually in the studio with me and he wanted to play with the money. So you'll also see him come around and uh, 
do his thing with the the cash um again i'm kind of out of frame but um anyway as i was stating before this is kind of him he, he just realized that we had a chalk wall in the studio so he was kind of playing um with that anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video please comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video